Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60 and I'm here today to film my last video of the year and just to share some more of my slacker ways and announce five secret giveaway winners and just kind of hang out with you. I'm glad you all enjoyed our 2020 favorite collaboration that we all did together. It was Natalie the Beauty Diva and Carol from the Old Carol Show and I always really enjoy making that video and collaborating with Natalie and Carol. Something I want to mention before I go on, you know how I tell you YouTube changes on our site a lot? Well, when I reply to comments, I don't go underneath the video that there's a comment part of it, and it just is comments that come in from other videos, from recent videos, and at the very top, there's a section and it reads held for review. Well, they used to have numbers by there. To make a long story short, I clicked on it just to see, and there were like 25 comments that were held for review. And the only thing I can figure out is that YouTube thought people were sending links because if like if somebody typed a word and then put a period and then started another word, I noticed that was on several of them, but I did reply to all of you and I want to apologize because there was one woman and her name is Kay, that there were three comments in there. So I'm sure she thought I was ignoring her, but you know I'm not Kay. 2020 has been a very hard year for a lot of people. People I know personally, some people weren't affected that much from it and some people were devastated. And it, it has been hard. And I will tell you what has gotten me through it is my faith and, and counting my blessings. Every single time I look at a clock, I look at my watch, I will take time to count all the blessings that I have. And sometimes I'm, you know, sometimes they're just real easy and sometimes I really dig hard. But I used to do very well through the day, only doing that first thing in the morning when I was still in bed and also at the end of the day. But I've just been counting my blessings every time I look at a clock or at my watch. You all know I like to do giveaways. I don't want to announce them, and I only give people three days to enter because I want my regular viewers to be the one who wins. Well, I didn't do a giveaway on my 20 of 2020 favorites, and I wanted to give one before the end of the year. Before so what I did, I went to the last giveaway that I did, and that was for some Tarte eyeshadow palettes, and I had asked people just to tell me their favorite flavor, well, I loaded all those comments. It's easy to do. You just highlight it and put it in random comment picker. And I picked out five winners to get a $50 e-gift card or a deposit to your PayPal. And I've already have the winners listed here. I did have one person, oh, probably in the summer that I sent an Amazon gift card to, an e-gift card. And it shows that it was received, but she lost it. So if you get an e-gift card, make sure you save that if you if that's what you choose to do. And I can, wherever I can get an e-gift card, whether it be to Ulta, to Walmart, to Amazon, Target, there's so many places that you can buy e-gift cards. That's what I will send you. And I'm going to go ahead and list the names of the winner. And I'm going to go in the order that they were picked. And I have five winners. The first winner is... Teresa Kehoe. Congratulations, Teresa. The next winner is Kim Moak. Congratulations, Kim. Wendy Gessner is the next winner. Congratulations, Wendy. The next winner is Elizabeth Walker. Congratulations, Elizabeth. And the last winner is Kay Johnson. So all of you, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. Well, you know, the definition of a slacker, I think, is people who avoid work, people who try to get out of work, don't want to put in much effort. Well, I kind of think of myself as a slacker because I do things to prevent having to do a lot of work. It's kind of what how I do it. And the things I do usually either save me money or save me time. And even when I had $1 left in my bank account the day before payday, and I was raising two small children, I knew that I had more money than time. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have very much money, but time was short. I worked full time. You know, I had two active children. 
So I've always wanted to save money and I've always wanted to save time. So I've kind of lived by a couple of sayings, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I think the other one is a stitch in time saves nine. And, and that is so true. And at the end of this video and in the show more section below, I will leave a link to my first slacker, my first slacker ways video. If you go there, be sure and read the comments because in that video, I ask people to share their slacker ways and I have found some good ideas. But the ones I'm gonna talk about are the ones that I've done throughout my life and that I didn't hear about from YouTube or anybody else. Because if I ever hear a tip from somebody else, I always wanna give them credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And you all may do this a lot and this saves me time and money. When I wash my sheets, I usually put the same ones back on. I buy my sheets in separates. I buy separate fitted sheets because those are the ones that tend to wear out first. And I put a safety pin on a corner and I rotate it. So I always know how to put my sheet on. I don't think I've ever had very many pillowcases or top sheets that wore out. But that saves me time because I don't have to fold the sheets because I can put them right back on the bed and it saves me money because I only have to replace what needs to be replaced. And normally my top sheets are a print of some type and my bottom sheets are always light gray. So anyway, I wanted to share that. I seldom, if ever, I mean, I don't know the last time I bought a drink at a fast food restaurant. I don't know when I've been to a fast food restaurant, but Jim always likes to get a Coke. And when I get home, I bring in the cup and this one happens to be from Burger King and I don't know how old it is, but I wash it out, dry it, and I stick it underneath my sink. And so anytime I have food that needs to go outside instead of down my garbage and I don't want to put it in my trash, I just use these, fill them up. It may be grease, let it cool, put it in here and I throw it away. So at least there's two uses. Sometimes I have more than two uses because if it's if it's something that's not greasy, I'll go dump it outside and then uh, come back and rinse it out again. Ever since you could take photos with your phone and stretch them out, I have taken photos of uh, directions that were small. A lot of times on a prescription bottle, it's too small to read the prescription number. So I just take pictures of it and I just stretch it out. And I've showed Jim how to do that and that's kind of like a release some aggravation. L from the channel, L is for living, says there is a good app you can put on your phone. And I'll try to find her video and let you know what that is, but she uses it for magnification. So I haven't done it that way yet, but I do do that a lot. I have a lock box at the bank and it's, it's you know, fairly good size. I've always put all of my negatives. We don't have negatives anymore. I don't anyway for, for photos, but I have my family movies that I took when my children were babies. I have all the negatives of the pictures I took. I have my thumb drives. I have copies of credit card, uh, driver's license, passport, and, and they're all, safe at the bank so that's something that makes my life a little easier because i know exactly where to find it none of these are profound these are just things that have made my life just a little bit easier you know i put my foundation on with my fingers today i have on the powder foundation the celebration foundation but and, and i do use a brush for that but if it's a a regular liquid foundation I don't use brushes and I don't use sponges. Number one, you have to wash them a, a lot. And I don't even know, I think sponges are very hard to get clean, but I've just never used a brush or a sponge to apply my foundation because I'm a slacker. And my fingers have worked wonderfully well, well throughout the years. Before I put on makeup, I wash my hands and I'm not worried about my own germs. And I've had some questions about this. I use the Grande Brow and I don't have to do anything with my brows. Sometimes I put a little hairspray on them to keep them if I've like put my hand, hand up there at night when I've been sleeping, but I still derma roll my eyebrows, but I've only derma rolled the tails. So the grande brow has definitely thickened up my eyebrows and I'm gonna continue derma rolling my tails because I think I'm getting a little bit of a benefit from doing that with my eye. So yes, I do that and that way I don't have to think about eyebrow products. 
I've talked about this in other videos. I don't, not in my slacker video, but I have a, a flat iron that the only thing I use it for is kind of pressing hems or plackets down a shirt or the collar. And I don't know when the last time I got an iron out. It, it's been a long time. This, I'm just really careful when I wash things, kind of hang them up damp, and then I can just use this and, and it works really well. This is a two inch and I think any brand would work, but it works for me. And I started doing that when my daughter, she's 42, when she was just a little girl, I would run her ribbons across my curling iron to get any of the little uh, wrinkles out of it. So when I saw flat irons, I thought immediately, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get that to iron with. Now this just kind of helps with aggravation, dropping things, looking for things. The only the eye drops I use are the Renew for contacts, and I can always keep it in a little organza bag. And the reason, if you drop it, it will not roll. And I can't tell you how many times I drop something and it rolls under something and I have to stop what I'm doing and I have to go hunt for it. So this is a tip for anything that is round that will roll away. And I know that I am a true slacker. The other, one other thing I use my organza bags for are all different kinds of lids, of caps. I have caps to Retin-A, I keep a cap before I throw away or, you know, do my empties, I take the caps off and I have my small ones in here and I and then I have a bag in my dressing room for the larger caps, a, a, a larger organza bag. But it's just so easy. If you need a cap, chances are you have one. And I have to share something that really did save me time and made my house look nice. I don't do it anymore. But I used to put linens on top of my like my desk, my chiffre robe, uh, end tables, coffee tables, and I had beautiful linens and I didn't mind ironing those. That's one thing I didn't mind ironing, but you would not believe how much less dusty something looks. So I could get by not dusting as often. And this, this was back when I was busy running around with my kids, but it sure did make my things look nice on top. And that's where something gets dustier, and I'm admitting what a slacker I am. And if you're still here, this is gonna be another giveaway. In the months of October, November, and this month, my videos, my older videos especially, have gotten so many more views. I don't know why, but they have. And so when I, the more views you get, the more money you make from AdSense, and that's a person, I guess that's probably Google, but that's how you get paid for making videos. And you don't make very much. Maybe, I don't know, I heard somebody say a penny a view, but those views add up, especially if people watch them for the whole video. So I have been putting back money every month to do a giveaway at the end of the year. So I'm gonna do another giveaway. And this time I'm gonna have four $50 winners and it's going to be e-gift cards or PayPal. And the only thing I want you to do in the comments below just tell me something you learned this year. I don't care what it is. It may be something very small. It may be something pretty big that we all can learn from. But just in your comments below, mention something that you've learned this year. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to these comments. But if you go to any video, even though it says I can't reply in the beginning of the video, I can because all those giveaways are over. And you can leave me a question, a comment, and I will get back to you on the older videos. But to be in this giveaway, the comments need to be below this video. And all you have to be is 18 years old or older and leave a comment below to, to enter in this giveaway. It has been a very interesting year. I'm hoping 2021 is, is gonna be a lot easier, but it is all good. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your time, your comments, and just your friendship. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I used to put very, and I will announce the winners, and it says, and I think it helps, a deposit to your bank account. And I, and I usually placa, placa, because I know exactly where 